All right, so another question I got from one of my subscribers was um, a vacuum test. I did a pressure test, and I typically just pressure test drives mostly. Um, I typically don't do vacuum tests on drives. I find more than likely if the gear oil leaks out, it's going to leak out under pressure. Um, it's really not going to suck oil back or water back in unless the seal leaks. Um, but I am going to vacuum test this one just to verify that it does hold vacuum. And the book says 14 to, eight, uh, 14 to 16 inches of vacuum. There's 15. So we'll leave it at 15 while we're having this little conversation. Well, maybe not. All right, so I'll leave it at 15. Um, the other reason that I typically don't pressure test drives is because if you're dealing with a later model Bravo or an Alpha drive, um, they have what's called labyrinth style seals on them, especially in the bearing carrier. And that bearing carrier, uh, that carrier seal will not hold a vacuum, it will leak. So that's why I, another reason, you know, why I typically don't bother doing a vacuum test. I probably should on everything, but after 40 years of doing this, I vacuum tested drives when I was younger. And then when we had in the 80s, maybe 89, somewhere in there, 87, they changed the seal design and told us at Mercruiser not to vacuum test the drives. So that's when I pretty much stopped doing that and I have not had any drive failures um, if it passes a pressure test. Uh, as I showed you right here, this failed a pressure test. Now if that was leaking and I just did a vacuum test, um, I wouldn't be able to see that. It would be very, very hard to sense if that vacuum was being drawn in there. I could put my finger there and hold it for several minutes and then I would feel the vacuum, but it's easier to see the air leak out. Um, one other thing is, if there is a seal leak in a drive, there's water in a drive, that's why you're there. You know, you're there to figure out where the leak is. Um, it's going to leak under pressure for sure. There's already a scored seal, there's a damaged seal. Um, when you put it back together, I typically, with older drives like this, I take some polishing um, cloth that I have and I polish up the shafts. I want to inspect all the sealing grooves. If there's, the grooves are real deep, i got to change a shaft. Um, but other than that, right now, we're still at 15, so um, that's one of the reasons why I don't typically vacuum test drives, but just to show you that yes, it passes a vacuum and pressure.